So, the rumors that have been true that bad that the bad boy Block Brown himself. <laughs> Those of you guys who watch our show who are familiar with Brock Brown, you remember how unpredictable he was and how dangerous he was and how crazy he was. And Brock Brown was not someone who could be easily changed or someone could who did anything that he was supposed to do. We told him multiple times to get dressed. He wrestled in the nude. Brock Brown is probably the most unpredictable star we had back in the day. And, well... Seeing how it's the Dream Masters icons, of course, Block Brown wanted to come on the icons roster, so here he is, challenging a new, um, a new comer, a newcomer here as S. Mark Lucy Connors is going to be making his in-ring debut. Uh, we don't know much about S. Mark Lucy Connors. Apparently, he is a super fan of wrestling. Big fan of wrestling, um, knowledgeable individual. Um, no, well, Lowell, Massachusetts, too. Isn't that lovely? As the FRL icon arena, here comes. Oh, boy, look at this guy. Apparently, this guy is a individual who believes in um, the news and the backstage rumors and whatnot of wrestling. He's a fan, apparently. <laughs> Oh boy, so Smark <laughs> for short, this guy apparently is a fan who believes in the Dave Meltzer way of things. As you can see, he has his copy of the report right there. <laughs> He's done his homework. <laughs> He's going to need it because... <laughs> I don't think he's ever had to quite face anyone like Brock Brown, however. We haven't seen Brock Brown in a long time, so a lot of questions will be answered. A lot. <laughs> like, oh wait a minute, what has Brock Brown got in mind here? Thought we were going to see Brock, oh, of course, oh no. Block Brown, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen him in quite some time. So there could only be one. Oh, this. It looks like he's in a bad mood today, and there he is. Oh, Lord. And Block Brown. Well, at least he's dressed, folks. Give, give him that, at least. <laughs> Block Brown making his return, everyone. For those people who missed Block Brown and his antics. He's back. Apparently, he's not full of fun and games. Oh, Lord. Block Brown is one of those individuals who some love him and some hate him. He's kind of a tweener. As the randomness that Block Brown brings and the unpredictableness is why a lot of people are you know, amused. Good God. So, Brock Brown, ladies and gentlemen, you guys asked for him, and he's back. Oh, boy. Trying to do this intimidation thing. I'm certain he'll probably go back to his old ways. I guess he wanted to make a serious entrance. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> Probably one of his last uh, people who challenged Brock Brown. Who knows? Like I said, he doesn't like to do what he's told, so hard to say. Fans are not overly happy. Oh, there goes the lights. Probably should have paid the bills. So if you're S. Mark, if you're Smark, how are you feeling right now? Yeah. 
I'm all set with that view. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Brock Brown is clearly still just as, uh, well, some people call him unpredictable. Some people call him crazy. He is a wild man, that's for sure. You never really know. Oh, he does not look where he does S mark. So here we go. What happens when a fan steps in the ring against Brock Brown? Ouch. And how about that? The fan kicks out one. So Smark kicks out at one count of Brock Brown raking across the back. And a right hand. Oh, man. Brock Brown shaking it off. Oh, no. Back suplex. It has been a long time since we've seen Brock Brown. Nice of him to dress for the occasion. Literally, it's nice to see that you got dressed in general. Like, the guys who watch our show know what I'm talking about. There were times, a lot of the times, that Brock Brown could never even be dressed. Wouldn't even be bothered to get dressed. As, wow, how about this? S. Mark working hard. Ooh, hip toss there by Brock Brown. Now helping the Smark to his knee. Now all the way up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Showing his uh, affection, I guess, part of the block hug. Oh, good. So the smark hangs in there. Ooh, a spinning axe kick. <laughs> oh, no. Has Brock Brown even been on the mat yet? I don't think Brock Brown's been knocked off his feet yet by Leo Co by this S. Mark Lucy Connors. Uh oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Brock Brown doesn't look like he's playing around. Oh, there's a kick in the head. Brock's down finally. I don't know about picking him up. I don't know how smart that was, but it's a rookie mistake right there. He should have let him go. Uh oh. And a nice head scissor takedown. And Brock Brown now pulling himself up. Oh. How about that? Choking Brock Brown. That's good. That's smart. You need to do some damage, but I don't know if I'd be picking him up when you get him down. I would be going for the pin ASAP. That is a rookie mistake. There's a bulldog there by S. Mark. Gets a one count, and he's surprised by this. He probably should have did his homework on Brock Brown. But oh well. Kick to the gut. Oh, and a face buster. Into the cover. Oh no. Brock Brown kicks out at two. And this fan not happy about that. And now... Brock Brown being choked by... The Smark... Oh, back elbow. Oh, no. And a... Oof. Brock Brown, I think, is done playing around, folks. And dropped to the mat. And Brown now is on the attack. Oh, man. Oh, Connors with a kick to the head. How about that? Brock Brown not impressed. Sends him back into the ring. Oh, nice takedown there. Maybe playing a little possum. And Brock Brown, this is his, he might be feeling a little ring rust. It's been a long time since he's been in the ring. And now, burying those tree like, tree branch, table leg type legs into the chest. Now with one arm, a backbreaker. Almost a back factory here, folks. That's going to do. A lot of damage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Here it comes. And Brock Brown has ended this. And that was the Brock Slam.
and that is going to do it. <laughs> so, I guess if you're a singles competitor here in the Icons, you should probably take notice that Brock Brown's back. He is an individual you cannot take lightly. He may be looking, he might look weird, but trust me, he is an individual you don't want to sleep on. As S. Mark just found out that his Melser report did not help him. In fact, <laughs> how do you do that? How do you do any kind of homework on a guy like Brock Brown? I'd give that a four, a three star. Fairly quick and easy. I mean, the smart did get some shots in. He took him down, shockingly enough, despite the size difference. Of course, you know, Brock Brown doesn't play well and doesn't go along anyway, so...